On this episode of In Between Nines, we're playing December Golf with none other than the guy who films these episodes. Yeah. So Chris doesn't actually really play golf. He's hit a couple balls with us out on the golf course, played a few holes. Doesn't have his own set of golf clubs. I got some uh, clubs I don't use that you're gonna you're gonna Let's play. Go, man. <laughs> Here you go. Oh baby. Straight up, only hybrids and a putter. If you need a wedge, I'll let you borrow a wedge. Okay. What are you going with? I don't know. What should I go with? The lower the number, the further it goes. Got it. So I should go with like a three. Yeah, just try and crank it through the trees. Is that the play? That's it. Nope. I mean, that's a hit. Going right. So mentally, I'm thinking left. Oh! Game fuel, baby. Dude, it's cold. The ball doesn't go anywhere. Of course. The dude just sunk a 15-foot putt. Nobody was playing. It's a very soft 10. Well, it's not really a 10. That's, there's, it was more than 10. But we'll a, give, we're going to call it a 10. It's a super light 10. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. What's it like being on the opposite side of the camera? It's different. I got started in filmmaking and photography when I was joining bands growing up. I didn't really have any money or like know anyone that could take pictures for us or like take video for us. So I kind of just took that upon myself to figure out so I can kind of keep it in house and just get used to it there. Fell in love with it pretty quick, especially like being on tour early on and like kind of documenting that stuff. How did you start getting paid? Like, can you talk about your experience? Because I feel like that's a question a lot of people ask. I make videos, but how do I, how do I get paid to make videos for other people? For me personally, like obviously everyone's journey is different, but uh, you know, you, you hone your craft, get good at it, get comfortable with a spot where you feel like the work you're creating is good enough. Um, and then just start reaching out. Like I, I asked, you know, a couple of people in bands and a couple of my friends that were in bands and just like, hey, like, let me come do this for free. If you like it, cool. If not, you don't have to pay any money for it. And just kind of like throwing yourself in those situations and putting yourself out there, which is nerve wracking at first. Um, but I think that was the one thing that I did that kind of pushed me into a position where, you know, you, you do that one job that, you know, this other guy sees and then from there it kind of starts to snowball um, and people start to reach out if they like your work. What's it like being on the other side right now? Yeah. What's it What's it like? Uh, I'm getting, I'm, I'm realizing how strange it must be for people who especially uh, don't really look in front of cameras or do this stuff in front of cameras. A little, a little different for me. Check, check, check. Okay, that seems fun. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I can I can get right back at you, brother. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> caught me off guard there. Take all the sand. Take all the sand. Got it. Dig it up. I'm ready. And swing through. You got to follow all the way through. I don't know if I can do that. You got to follow through. Remember? Oh yeah. of Dave. I'm gonna hand grenade it for him. This is for you, buddy. Winter rules. That was the... Come on, really? Like, you yeah. couldn't have thrown that farther? No, I wanna be fair. I'm gonna hand grenade it. I'm gonna do You're it. You're gonna hand grenade it. Yeah, I would bomb grenade. that thing, dude. Oh okay, alright, alright, fine. Hand grenade. Puck it, dude. There you go. When I was younger, uh, my dad's house would go over there for the summer, um, and he had some old clubs sitting there, and there was a 
like one of those like driving nets where you just like hit the ball into the net. I don't know why, but for whatever reason, I was just like, oh, let me try this out. And so I did that for a couple summers. I think I maybe went to a course once. And then as I got older, like in high school time, I did a couple, you know, par three pitch and putt situations. Uh, we just walk onto the green or walk onto like the whole three and not pay and just finish out the rest of them. I don't have much experience at all with golf, no. I can definitely see why I was interested in it earlier on, especially getting to hit a couple balls, you know, in between the shots and shooting, a couple of episodes that we did. Uh, you get that one shot that like feels good and you're like, oh, I want to do that more. There's definitely ties to that feeling in terms of like taking pictures or filming um, and like hitting those shots in golf. I mean, like when you see that one thing or you experience that one thing that just kind of like gets your adrenaline pumping, gets you really stoked. I mean, I think that's that's just a, a good feeling no matter what you're doing. I did a tour very beginning of the year before COVID hit and I got to shoot, you know, some, some bigger bands, one of my favorite bands. Being able to shoot in that kind of environment uh, and like at stages like that with crowds like that and, and kind of getting some approval from that band being like, oh, these shots look awesome was kind of self-affirming for me, feeling like I could perform at that level and be able to do something like that long-term. Right before a shot, too. <laughs> I'd like to thank my caddy. I'm here for you. Best in the league. Moral support. Nice shot, Breck. You can't say that. You're not his caddy. Yeah, more than that. Yeah. I want to just go hang out with Justin. I want to be near my, my caddy friend. That is the best shot you've hit all day. Damn. First and only time today I'm on the green. In one shot. On the green in regulation. In regulation, like the real shot, not like winter rules. Like this is a real shot. Remember that time you were on the green? Well, how I got started touring, like making content and taking pictures and that type of thing. It started out, I was just taking pictures of bands that like I'd play with. From like the first couple of shows that I shot, uh, I kind of was like, yeah, I want to do this and go on the road and, and kind of see the other side of it as opposed to playing. I reached out to a friend of mine um, in this band called Savage Hands. They were going out on a small tour um, a couple years ago and I was just like, hey man, you don't have to pay me, uh, but like let me come out for three days on this tour just to shoot and make content, um, you know, and just see how it goes. And that was kind of my first jump into that uh, and it went well. And from there, I think from, the, from those shows, it kind of sparked, you know, people were seeing my pictures, um, you know, and kind of opened up the door for me. Well, this has been an episode of In Between Nines. Thank you so much for watching. See you on the next one.